Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Screen Sanctum reaction. Today, I'm going to react to Season 2, Episode 8 of Atlanta, Woods. Now, a lot of you out there have messaged me, and people that I know in real life messaged me. Um, once they heard I was watching Atlanta, they were like, wait till you see this episode, Woods. And they've been telling me this since Season 1. So I'm finally here, and I'm finally going to see what it's all about. Um, my anticipation is through the roof now because of all of you um, letting me know. Last week's episode, Champagne Poppy, was another pretty funny one, which we needed after Teddy Perkins. So I hope we continue with some comedy because after Teddy Perkins, I think I need a couple of lighthearted episodes because that, that shit was crazy. So yeah, last week's Champagne Poppy, that big... Big party that was being thrown at Drake's mansion and everyone thought Drake was going to be there. And who wasn't there? Drake. <laughs> so that was pretty, pretty funny. But, all right. I have it up. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The last few have been like character-driven episodes. Barbershop was Paperboy's episode. Teddy Perkins was basically Darius's episode. Um, Champagne Poppy was pretty much... Val's episode. So, um, Ern really hasn't gotten his own, but I don't think this is going to be Ern's episode either because in the thumbnail we see Paperboy. All right. Before we get into it, I want to thank everyone for the subs. Closer and closer to 1,000 every day. I'm inching there. So, thank you. Thank you. And of course, if you want to see this full reaction or all of my full reaction videos, the community or what we do in the shadows when that picks back up or some of my um, first time watching movie videos, check out my uh, my Patreon at Screen Sanctum. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is all about. Season two, episode eight, Woods, right now. Wake up, wake up. That's what I want to be right now. I would rather be sleeping. <laughs> and I know you know how to fold. Are we meeting Paperboy's mom? Uh -uh. Get up. Hey. Get up now. It's close to noon. <laughs> Is this a flashback? Paperboy is knocked out. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a flashback. Yeah. Or did his mom die in this? Nope. I, um, I didn't get a chance. Was he like dreaming about his mom when he was like younger or something? Darius. Darius is always in the kitchen cooking. What's up, bro? You right? Yeah, I mean. Hungry? Nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> Nigga, when you learn how to make pasta? Dream. <laughs> yeah, Mary McCheese was there. The girl from Dharma and Greg. <laughs> Mayor McCheese? Is that Sierra? Yeah. Nothing, man. I just, you know, I thought you were allergic to girlfriends. No, she ain't my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll um, keep that in mind. Everyone man. needs a friend like yeah. Darius, man. All right, I'm serious, man. I'm going to put my foot up in this. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally. A gem of a show with four perfect characters to spin off. That would have been so dope if they would have spin 
one of them off, I would, I'd watch a Darius show. I'm not done with this series, but I, what's Darius up to? Why so quiet, paper boy? You know I used to dance around here, right? <laughs> In that strip club right there. You ever go in there? <laughs> Many times. <laughs> well, maybe you've seen me there before. I could have been grinding on your junk, thinking you was just another dumb, broke nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I could have thought you was just another stuck up hoe with too many damn stretch marks. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> damn, paper boy. God, I'm so glad you could kick it today. Oh shit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know. I wonder what it feels like to be a musician and you get to actually hear your shit on the radio. That must be so dope. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no interest in looking like no damn black Aladdin. <laughs> That dope boy from the hood act won't last long. People little by little, yeah, they got to get... A sweaty nigga <laughs> in a polo and cargo shorts. He's got to eventually learn that. But it's hard, man. Yo, how much are they? And who cares? If you like them, have your manager get them for you for free. <laughs> Cause Iron Man, he don't, he don't know how to do all that. He don't get your free shit? <laughs> Maybe you gotta level up. Get you a manager with a big dick. Yo, girl, I don't know nothing about all that. <laughs> what the f uh, I mean, on. he's trying his best, right? Can we get some assistance? So what is Woods? God, this is going to be one of those episodes where some crazy shit's going to happen like within the last eight minutes. Oh, that girl just posted that picture. So sweet. I love fans. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> tickled. I'm sorry. That's I ain't never exactly me. Uh, you know, most guys <laughs> I would cannot not be handle it. Dead in here. Yeah. Niggas be acting like grooming themselves is gay. That is fucked up. I can't be selling my wigs and out here looking janky. I gotta compete with white girls with lip fillers and butt injections. <laughs> true, true, true. Everybody wanna be a black girl, but the black girls ain't making no money from it. Hey! Watch it. <laughs> you need to post on Instagram more. Nah. He, he's a, Paperboy does not want that yet. He just wants to be rich in himself. He really doesn't want to change. I just think we could be good together. Oh, okay. So you want a boyfriend? We can get that money. I'm curious about the backstory, how they met. Boost each other. Look, we don't even have to fuck. Who she all is? The time. We just gotta give him something to talk about. 
Because I told you I ain't into that weird ass fake shit. Uh, why are you so moody today? Because you ain't asked my permission to take that. Permit exactly. That is true. Wait, you do wait, have wait, to wait, ask wait, permission. He is real. You said no. Well, where are you going? I'm leaving. I drove. I can walk, bro. <laughs> Paperboy is not being fake. Like, I could talk about it more at the end, but like back in the 90s, you didn't have to conform to anything. There was no social media. Paperboy could just be Paperboy and go quadruple platinum. But now with Instagram and shit, like, you can be you, but you still got to kind of fake it a little bit. And this reminds me of, like, that sad Charlie Brown music. Doesn't even have her name in his contact list. You paper boy. What's up, man? Joe, this is so crazy. We've been listening to you from the start. So what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just living, you man. Alone? You ain't got no car? <laughs> but I ain't allowed to walk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, she is. I can't imagine meeting like the Rizza. Oh shit! Oh shit! I was. I knew some shit was gonna happen. Fuck! God. Holy shit, Atlanta does it again. Oh, shit. Was he set up? Like how did they just randomly Well, now I know why it's called Woods. Dude, he is such a f fucking good actor. I would be, s I mean, obviously scared shit, but how do you get out of there? Like, I'd be like, are they still waiting for me over there? Turn this episode into a horror movie. And the theme of Robin season continues. I would be paranoid as shit. What the? Yo. Yo, you seen which way they went? Yeah, I seen. They went that way. Then they went that way. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, I'm no. Fine. I'm just high. <laughs> I lost my baby. What? Take some chapstick. <laughs> what? You got gems? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't follow me. The woods is the last place that I'd want to be, man.
walking dark alone with your thoughts you're probably hearing shit seeing shit you shut the hell up man you in bad shape boy damn that guy's been following him all night that's you dear gus that's what i'll call you big old black boy dear gus god is this like a bad dream I'm serious, man. Leave me the fuck alone! Like, is this him dealing with his conscience? It's just like your mama. What? <laughs> you better stand up and make a decision about how you getting out of here. Nigga, just leave me alone. God damn. Nigga. Keep Jesus. Still. You're gone, boy. You're wasting time. And if you're dead, I'm going to take your Fuck. and your wallet. I'm a count to 30. And if you ain't walked out here by then. Oh, hurt. shit. And me, boy. And that's his territory. One, two, three, twelve. <laughs> you went one, two, three, twelve, eleven. All right. He made it to a gas station. God, they broke Paperboy down this episode. I heard that humming. Man, if that guy finds him in here, Excuse me? Are you paper? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm paper boy. <sighs> One picture. Paperboy got a new perspective now? <laughs> At his lowest point. Thank you. <laughs> Loving memory of Willow Dean Keir. Why do you do this to us, Atlanta? You, they give us a Paperboy hilarious episode, Barbershop, then they drop Teddy Perkins on us. That just fucks us up. Then they give us Champagne Poppy, Vanessa, fun, hilarious. Throw some Darius in there. Then Woods, they started off Seeming like it's going to be a cool, easy breezy episode about Paperboy and maybe a love that he has. And then freaking 12 minutes in, I don't know, 15 minutes in, they just switch that shit up. I don't know how many times I'm going to fall for this. Every time I think an episode is going to be something 
and they've fooled me before and like switched up and and went from funny to like heartbreaking and then they do it again and I fall for it again. Like this show is genius. I don't know. Well, obviously it happens for real. This is real life. It wasn't a dream. So this actually happened. Um, I'm just curious if this was just like a case of bad luck. Like were those three kids walking around and whoever they met up in that alley, they were going to rob or was he set up? I, I doubt he was set up, but I don't really see a problem with Paperboy wanting to stay real, you know, just be who he is, try to make his music how he wants to, how he is. But I understand that the industry today is different. Your persona sells a lot. Like you don't even have to really make great music anymore to be popular and sell a lot of records. You just have to have like a hit, you know, and everybody has Instagram. It doesn't matter what type of artist you are. You're going to have an Instagram presence. You're going to have a Twitter presence. You're going to have to post pictures and things like that. In like now 2023 or when this episode aired, I think around 2019 or 2020. And as I said, in 1998, or even the early 2000s, we didn't have that. Like, we had MySpace, maybe, but no one was doing, like, things on MySpace that they're doing on Twitter and Instagram now. So Paperboy would have been fine. Um, it's a coincidence that I'm wearing this Wu-Tang shirt and I'm going to bring up the RZA or anyone in that group. You know, they're still doing stuff today. They're not putting out albums like they were, but... When they came out in 94 or early 90s, I can compare them to Paperboy because they were the same. Like they put out music and they were who they were. They weren't being fake on social media. Um, they weren't trying to like, in the early days, like put out those, those pop type hits. You know, the first couple, of, like the first album was straight Wu-Tang and then Wu-Tang Forever. Like that was kind of ahead of its time, but it still wasn't technically commercial, you know, but it's different now and I'm rambling, but it's kind of what I'm seeing here. He wants to stay him. He wants to be true to himself. But with this episode, he kind of learns that you got to switch it up a little. Like you have to, you have to get with the times. And it seems like two seasons in, and another eight episodes into season two, Paperboy might finally finally see the light where he's like, all right, I could be I, I could be me still, but I got to like try this other stuff, you know, and it's kind of funny that the first time he really accepts social media is that picture. And I think it's poetic that it's a real picture. Like, he didn't pose for it. He got the shit beat out of him. He almost died. He got robbed. And then he goes into the woods. He almost gets his neck sliced. He's beaten, bloody, dirty, basically at his lowest point. And he meets a fan who he actually trusts after fans just jumped him. And he asks him for a picture. And he took it as is. You know, he didn't say, let me go to the bathroom. Let me wash this blood off. Let me take this shirt off, you know, so my undershirt, like, it's clean. You don't see me. Like, he he did the thing that everyone's telling him to do. Take pictures, be on Instagram. But for now, he did it his way. He got fucked up. <laughs> he still took the picture with the kid. And that was that. So that's, that is my take on this episode. The only other thing I want to say is, again, referencing the Wu-Tang is that's kind of when when he met those three kids walking, I kind of had an inkling that it was weird because they were asking weird questions. Like if I was walking, whatever, and I see the RZA or Ghostface or Met the Man just randomly on the street, I'm going to be like, oh, shit, you're Met the Man, right? And then, yeah, yeah, and I'll be like, I love your music. I love this. This album is great. I would probably be like, can, you know, can we take a picture? If he says no, he says no. But I wouldn't be like, you're walking. Would you have no car? 
Like that was a weird question to ask. So in hindsight, like that was a trigger. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I can see why a lot of you were like, wait till you see Woods. And I feel like this is a turning point in Paperboy's attitude towards himself and how he needs to um, put himself out there. And I have a feeling he's gonna ha he's gonna talk to Earn to to maybe make Earn be more aggressive with like getting him stuff. So, funny thing is, I'm looking at the synopsis and it says, as a celebrity who enjoys flaunting his money, Paperboy causes the boys to run into some money trouble. That really doesn't make sense. But I guess they mean because he got robbed? I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you all thought of Season 2, Episode 8, Woods. I'm sure you all have a lot to say if you see this video. Let me know what you thought of my reaction and my take towards the end. Um, if you like it and you got this far, I would greatly appreciate if you subbed. And again, thank you to everyone who has already. And of course, if you want to see the full reaction, check me out at Patreon at Screen Sanctum. And I'll see you on the next video, which is called North of the Border. I don't even, I'm not even going to predict anything. It could be funny. They could kill somebody. I don't know. And I, I'm just all over the place. I'm dropping shit. But... Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.